How's everything going guys? In this video I'm going to show you what are my favorite replacements for the default terminal on Linux and Mac. Ok, so number one is Terminator. It is native Linux terminate, terminal, so it's not built with Electron or anything like that, so it's very lightweight and fast. It supports multiple tabs, so you can open your tabs like this. So as you can see, the tabs are at the top of the window. You can switch them by clicking or pressing Control, page up, page down. Next, each of these tabs can be additionally split into multiple windows. So you can split the windows vertically or you can split the windows horizontally like this. So not only that you have multiple windows now, each of these uh, multiple tabs, sorry, each of these tabs can, can be additionally split into multiple windows. Nice thing about uh, the Terminator is that uh, it supports, supports command broadcasting. What that means is that uh, you basically can tab, type the same command in the multiple uh, windows simultaneously. So, if, uh, for example, if you click here on this menu and select broadcast all, now, if I type command like lshv to see uh, information about, about my hardware, as you can see, this uh, command has been typed here, but also here, here, and all other windows as well. It has also been typed in other tabs as well. This can be extremely useful from time to time. Uh, but if you don't want, for if you don't want uh, your command to be broadcasted over all the windows and all the tabs, you can do the following: you can create a group, uh, and it will uh, suggest a Greek letter name for the group, and then you can select which terminals you want to belong to this group. So, for example, this ter uh, terminal, this window here, belongs to this group, and we will select this window for example and we will make this window also the part of the same group now when we type and then we also have to select to broadcast to group and now if we type lshv this command will be broadcasted here here and here as you can see it's not broadcasted into these two windows because they are not a part of this group okay very nice thing to use from time to time Next, uh, each of these windows can be zoomed in. So, for example, if there is some result in this small window here, you don't see it very well, you want to zoom it in to check to check out the results, you can do it. And you can zoom in and zoom out. When you zoom out, the window restores to its original position. Also very useful. Next, windows can be rearranged very easily. So, for example, if you want to move uh, this window from here to some other place, all you have to do is click on the title bar and uh, move it in some other place and release, and it will be rearranged. Terminator supports uh, plugins, so you can expand its functionality with plugins. Uh, you can see the plugins that are uh, enabled, uh, that are provided by default here and that are enabled by def default here. So you go into the settings and then uh, plugins uh, tab and you can also write or add your own plugins here, which is very nice. Uh, Terminator supports uh, customizing your team. So it's a, you can um, change the colors and everything else. So as you can see, let me just quickly go to some folder that has some project in it. Okay, as you can see, my uh, prompt here is customized. Uh, it has custom font, it uh, custom looks and uh, custom colors. And um, I will not get into customizing your uh, team here. If you want to see more about how to customize your terminal, check out my other video, Pimp Your Terminal. I will put the link to it in the description below. And uh, finally, worth mentioning is that you can save your uh, layout as a profile. So, for example, if you have a certain layout that you like, uh, for example, for coding, you want your Vim in this window and your, you want your compiler here. I don't know, you want your Git uh, window here. Uh, then you don't uh, and you don't want to basically split this uh, main window every time you start it. You just want it to open ready for work, you can basically save your layout as a profile. So I created an example. I created a profile of 4x4 windows. 
so 16 windows at um, in general so uh, and I can run it with a simple command terminator dash l l means load and 16 is the name of the profile you want to load I named it 16 because it has 16 windows in it so now if I run it as you can see it opens the brand new terminator with a 4x4 grid inside it okay um, that's all about Terminator. If you want to see more about it, uh, if you want to see how to efficiently use it, what are the shortcuts, I have all that in my separate video where I go more into details of how to use Terminator and its workflow. I'll put the link to this video uh, in the comments below. Okay, so uh, next uh, on our list is Gwaik. Gwaik, this is Gwaik. Uh, it looks like a heads up display in some first person shooters like quake it opens on the currently active monitor so for example if you have multiple monitors set up it will open where your focus is which is very useful um, you can you can you open it and close it with f12 you can maximize it with f11 maximize it and restore it it also supports multiple multiple tabs as you can see here I have multiple tabs although in my workflow I don't use multiple tabs uh, why I use Gwake? yeah basically it's like my sidekick terminal so Terminator is my main hero uh, terminal and Gwake is sidekick I use it for quick jobs like if I want to quickly get information about my free space on my hard drive or quickly copy something and I don't want to clutter up my desktop with yet another window then I use a uh, uh, good thing about Gwake is that when you turn it off it doesn't uh, actually uh, you don't you don't kill it it can uh, every uh, everything that you run inside this terminal keeps running so let me show you so for example if I do ping google.com and I let it run if I close the terminal and uh, the ping will keep running and then when I open the terminal I can see as you can see it's still running in the background so very nice thing when you want to just for example I use it often when I want to upgrade my system so I run sudo apt upgrade and then I just don't want to wait or look uh, while it's working so I just hide it and then later I just check uh, if it's finished Okay, so how do we install these two awesome uh, terminals? They are both into repos on Ubuntu and all deriv derivatives of Ubuntu. So for example, I use Xubuntu. So all you have to do is basically sudo apt install and then type terminator or type Gwake and that's it. It will be installed. I have to mention that Gwake uh, is not uh, starting automatically. Uh, when you uh, start your machine so you will have to manually add it uh, to manually add it into the your session startup so how do we do that let me quickly uh, show you so first you want to see where is it where was it installed so you type which quake then you uh, the system tells you that it's in user bin quake you will copy this url and then you will for example on xubuntu that i use you will go into your sessions and startup and then go to application out to start and edit here you'll paste the the path to your uh Gwake here and you will just say okay it's great add some description if you like and click ok and that's it next time you start your machine uh Gwik will start automatically okay guys so that's about uh, all about uh, linux uh, terminals so let me show you uh, my favorite terminal on mac it's called iTerm2. You can find it uh, in uh, on, on this site uh, www.iterm2.com. Uh, it basically looks like this. It supports most of the things that Terminator supports. Uh, what's most important to me is that it supports multiple tabs. Each tab can be split into multiple windows. Uh, it supports command broadcasting. You can customize your team. So the, all the main things uh, that you want your terminal to support it supports uh, installation is uh, standard mac installation you download it you drag it into applications and that's it okay guys those are my three favorite terminals on linux and mac uh, please let me know what are your favorite terminals in the comments below 
Don't forget to like and subscribe and tick that little bell icon and see you in the next video.